there friends, it's Ashley here from the Loopy Lamb and the LoopyLamb.com and today I'm going to be sharing my review of this Muse hand painted yarn available from our friends at We Crochet. So we're going to be taking a look at the yarn, talking about what it's like, and then I'll show you some swatches that I've done with the yarn. And now I also have previously reviewed the Muse hand painted fingering weight yarn and uh, that's already up on the channel. But this we're looking at today is the Aran weight yarn. And so I also have some of the fingering weight yarn here so I can uh, show you side by side uh, comparison of the two in case you're wanting to um, you're trying to decide between the two different yarns. So if you're ready to get started, please hit like like button and consider subscribing to this channel. This channel is updated weekly and I hope to see you back again here soon. So I have uh, three different colors here of the Muse Aran weight yarn and I've gone for two tonals and a variegated colorway and don't they just look gorgeous together? I am obsessed with these colors. Um, they're even more beautiful in person than when I placed the order. Uh, just love, love, love them. So we'll work from uh, left to right and we'll talk about uh, what colorways we have here. This is Serenity Tonal here on my left. In the center here is Savvy Hand Painted and on the right is called Devotion Hand Painted. Now all of the colorways have the same amount of yarn in them. They're all 100 gram hanks and there are, are 114 yards per hank. Now this is an Aran weight yarn which is uh, falls under that size 4 uh, category and uh, the recommended hook size for this yarn is a range from I to K and if you're using those hooks the expected gauge for that is 11 to 14 single crochets in a 4 inch swatch. If you're a knitter then they recommend using um, between a 7 and a 10 uh, knitting needle and you can expect to get four to four and a half stitches for one inch swatch. Now this is 100% superwash merino wool and um, that means it is machine washable and it is uh, capable of being tossed in the dryer on low. Okay so that's the yarn label information. Now uh, there are I think there was 24 last time I checked different colorways on the We Crochet site and a lot of them do work really well together like the three I have here and um, I did order these specifically for a design I have in mind um, that we'll, you will be seeing soon but anyways we'll talk about uh, working with the yarn and I'll show you I've got all three of the colorways caked up just gorgeous love how they go together and I've done two different swatches with the two of the different colors and I want to talk about what makes them so different. Now um, when I said I was talk, I wanted to talk about the fingering weight yarn this is the main difference between the two is how the strand of the yarn is constructed. Now this is a twisted roving yarn so um, I do have some concerns about how um, this will wash up and I want to see if it will pill because roving yarn does have a tendency to pill um, but that tight um, spin that we see here or the tight ply um, will help to combat that somewhat so um, I'm really interested to see how that will turn out uh, after I've done my initial swatches for my design. Now when you look at the fingering weight yarn which is my absolute absolute favorite um, it is very different. Now the fingering weight muse is um, a plied a, re a regular plied yarn and there are two nope let's see how many plies we've got there are several plies in here so it, it is a, a, a completely different yarn they're both super wash merino wool uh, however the fingering weight does have a nylon component where the Aran weight is 100% superwash merino wool. So there, those are your two main differences besides your the obvious weight difference is that uh, the fringing weight is the plied, it does have that nylon content, and then your Aran weight has uh, is a roving yarn and is not plied. It is just a twisted roving. So. Um, but yeah, so that this is, in case you're wondering, this is, uh, I believe it is called, 
impulse. This is the impulse colorway of the fingering weight yarn in a Tunisian swatch here. And I just absolutely, this is my favorite yarn in the Muse line. 100 million percent. I'm obsessed with that one. I'm actually working on another design with that right now. So um, here are our swatches. I've done one in the Devotion and one here in the Savvy. And I started with the Devotion and I just love how the colors came out as I worked up my swatch. Um, I'm not usually a huge fan of variegated yarns, but I just really loved how this one turned out and it just looks more cohesive to me, if that makes any sense. But anyways, um, so I did this one with a six millimeter hook here and I started with a few rows of single crochet. I did a few rows of half double and then I worked into some rows of double crochet. Now you can see with that hook size, I'm not getting a lot of drape. Um, that twist in the roving does keep the yarn relatively stiff, but it gives it fantastic st stitch definition like just take a look at that it's gorgeous and um but my tail here as you can see and i think it happened on the other it did um there is some fraying so if you are going to be weaving in your ends you're going to want to make sure that they're well tucked in and they don't have any hanging out because you're going to get these little uh, frays on the ends and for my swatch done in the savvy hand painted here I did the same stitches. I did single, half, and double crochets, but this time I did it with a seven millimeter hook. And you can see the differences in my swatches. And this one here has a little bit more drape, but is still relatively stiff. I imagine once I um, were to give this a little bit of a, a soak with a wool wash, that it would help to, um, relax that quite a bit. So I think that I really would lean more towards a seven or even a six and a half millimeter hook uh, when I'm starting my design with this. Uh, overall, the yarn was pleasant to work with. I really loved the stitch definition. There, I had no issues. There was no plies for splitting, so that wasn't a problem. Um, it does have a slight bit of a halo. Again, because it is that roving, you are going to get that little bit of a fuzziness factor uh, happening with your uh, finished project. I uh, didn't, I'm just going to pull a few stitches here. You can see there's no issues with frogging like I, I have had in the past with other roving yarns. Again, that really tight twist of the ply helps to fit, uh, even that out and make that less of an issue. Uh, overall, I really, really enjoyed working with this yarn. I'm obsessed with how the colors came out. It was just overall generally really enjoyable to work with. Um, it, again, it does have some drawbacks in terms of drape right off the bat, but a little bit of experimentation and some blocking uh, will likely uh, fix that problem for me, as well as uh, we want to make sure that we're uh, putting our ends in appropriately so that we don't have these little fluffy flyaways. And uh, I'm, I'm really hoping that this tight ply, or I keep calling it a ply, tight twist of the strand will help to uh, combat any potential pilling issues. But yeah, that's it for me. If this uh, yarn is available at crochet.com, and I'll make sure that I link to that in the description box below. If you'd like to see my full review of the Muse hand painted fingering weight yarn, um, you can check, catch that here on the channel as well. If you enjoy free crochet patterns, please check out my blog, theleapylam.com. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much for watching, friends. Happy hooking, and I'll see you next time.